tell you what, Ty Woofenden's really got that by hook working and hooking up around the outside. Wouldn't be surprised if he could make his way to the front here. Jason Doyle seems to be spinning up, made himself very big on the opening lap in the first turn. Ty Woofenden, definitely the man with the speed out there. Woofenden around the outside, Doyle under pressure into the last lap. Doyle slams the door shut as they go into turns one and two for the last time. Woofenden committed to it. Doyle just about hanging on. Here we go. That's more like it! It's past Jason Doyle, cracking opening ride for Ty Woofenden. Haven't seen too much of that in recent seasons, but that was Woofenden at his best. That's why he's won three world championships. Number four will complete the first block of races. Riders are out on track doing a few practice starts. We'll see the championship leader for the first time. Here we go then, heat number 14, the tapes are up. They go, oh, bit of Archie Bargy. Worrell hits the front, but he's gone wide. He's left the door open. Lingo comes through. Here comes oh. Dudek. Where did he come from? He was on the back wheel. He was out of shape, but he's... That's right, I'm looking forward to seeing it again. Yeah, I tell you, when Patrick Dudek rides his bike with a smile on his face, he is spectacular. He's at the back there, and he just makes a perfect cutback, gets that front wheel over onto the wooden curb up the inside and he's well he's last he's uh, stone last right here and we can see freddie lingren there on the inside <laughs> just collects too much uh, curve there rockets across but look at dudek he's got the front wheel up in the air as he enters turn three and he doesn't let that put him off or slow him down look at that superb stuff from patrick dude i'd have been thinking about getting off at that going to get there now. Frick's in front, but he's under huge pressure. Lingren again electing to go very wide indeed. Lambert moves out. Lingren then swapping back to the inside now. Keep your eyes on Lambert. He's got speed! Yeah, what Frick. a move from Lambert! Oh, Max Frick there just holding Robert Lambert up. Robert had to do something to get to the front. That Jason Doyle move. <laughs> Fire wide out in the dirt, then he puts the uh, front wheel over the curb, but it was fantastic. Max Frick is fully aware that he's coming. He's had a look over his right shoulder. Surprised he didn't move out a lot wider there to try to cover that move, but by the time he realises that Robert Lambert has uh, got that speed, it's all too late for Max. Then he has to go back to the inside because he's fully aware that Freddie Lingren's putting him under pressure. He didn't know which way to look, no, did he, Max no. Frick? He, he just didn't have the speed. They were coming at him left, right. It was uh, a tough race for... Green light is on, tapes are up and we're underway. Holder's made it on the inside, fabulous start from him. He just can do no wrong tonight. Roaring round, round the outside, here comes Freddie. Holder lifted violently down the back straight, that killed his momentum. And Lingren was there, ready to pounce. More mistake from Holder, just opened the door for Freddie Lingren and took the pressure right off, got himself in front, comfortably out there. Gets the bike to work quite well after the track raid, didn't think that uh, he would get the traction out there, but he does. There's the mistake. Bike the lifting. One. Yeah, yeah, bike lifting violently <laughs> there. For... Two go through. Tense moments. Here we go. Tapes are up. Smarslik hasn't made it, but Vasilik has. Lambert's out of shape. Smarslik now trying to go around the outside. Lambert's coming up the inside. Look at Smarslik okay. hunched over the handlebars. Charging around the outside. Brilliant move from him. Lambert has been relegated. Oh, my goodness gracious me. And Smarslik hasn't been in front all night long. And the completion of one lap, he's there. You just cannot script it. What an incredible turnaround this is. Yeah, it is. He uh, doesn't make a good start. Gate three really not performing for anybody. Robert Lambert, great move up the inside of Martin Vashnik there. And you've got to think at this point that uh, Lambert's going to get himself into the final, but Smarslik suddenly appears into shot. He's generated all the speed on the uh, opening two corners. Just elects to ride right around the outside. For the first time tonight, the bike actually looks like it's pulling. The bike looks like it's got speed and he uh, just drops across uh, Martin Vashilik there.